Welcome back. When you're short on supplies and resources, especially in Cuba, you have to be creative in private business. So some Cubans in the private sector typically offer more than just one service to make a sale. And that's how they get by. <laughs> Our Hatzel Vela, the one and only reporter from a local TV station in the U.S. to report inside Cuba, shows us how one salon in Havana stays afloat. Close to the center of Guanabacoa, it's a home like any other. But go upstairs and you'll find rooftop patio that doubles as a hair salon run by mother and daughter. From the time she was a child, her mother started teaching her how to be a stylist. Dainé Gonzalez Toledo now out front when it comes to running the hair salon where they'll cut your hair and dye it. But her specialty is hair extensions and fake eyelashes which is popular amongst young Cuban girls and makes them the most money. Five bucks for both eyelashes, one for each extension. Says some of the fake hair comes from Asia, some is donated from others here on the island. 20 years running her own hair salon. Prior to that, Gloria Toledo worked for the state. A lot of girls rely on them because of that long-time experience, reputation, and location. On a daily basis, there's an average of 20 to 25 customers, she says. Being on your own, you make a little more and you can live a slightly better life. But time and time again, these small private business owners want to be able to buy materials from the state or abroad. We have to figure it out. The Cuban way, she says, that typically means bringing stuff from abroad or buying it in the black market. A wholesale market would be ideal. So to make extra cash, they pull double duty, doing something else. Out front, a cafeteria. A little side room is where they make Cuban fast food for their customers or anyone else who happens to be passing by. If you like to work, you can make decent money. I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News, Havana.